S top. And let's do our zombie. So here we have our cartoon zombie. Let's add another resource. Once again, we want to add an existing file. Go to our desktop. Select a the villain. So when you're adding resources to your program, what it does is it creates copies of that in the directory of your program. And whenever you build your program, it will run um, without you having to have those pictures in the same folder. So if I didn't add these resources, um, let's say for this, for this picture, if I didn't have that picture in the same folder, it will not be able to load it because it's not actually there. So adding resources is a good way to package everything your program needs inside of the program. So let's just add our dragon and let's rename this to cartoon dragon and we'll rename this one just to make it look more like the other one so cartoon villain okay so now that we've added our zombie villain and our dragon let's go ahead and come over here to form1.vb we'll just double click on spawn enemy so whenever they click button spawn what we want to do is generate a random number and then pick based on that number so as new random so now that we have our random generator we want to set uh, we want to get a random number from it so dim enemy type as integer and we'll set that equal to generator dot next Okay, sorry about that alarm. So generator on next, and we want it to be between one, uh, so one, two, or three. So now I'll just do a select case, and we want the enemy type. So for case one, we will type picture enemy dot image is going to be equal to and we're going to have to access the resources of game GUI. So to do this, we'll just type my dot resources dot and you can see we've got cartoon dragon, cartoon villain and cartoon zombie. So we'll just do cartoon zombie. And we'll do this for each one. So picture enemy dot image equals my dot resources dot cartoon let's do a villain and then case three picture enemy dot image equals my resources dot dragon now this is just a basic uh, outline of what this is going to be doing whenever they spawn an enemy it will also have to create a new enemy object it'll have to set the health back um, on the progress bar and other stuff but for now we're just gonna worry about this so let's go ahead and run this let's go ahead and we need to come over here to our solution and we need to right click on game GUI and let's just go ahead and set it as the startup project so now that it's the startup project we should be able to run this Okay, so here's our game, and when we spawn an enemy, we can get either the zombie, we get the villain, and it's generating um, some weird numbers. So go ahead, put this code in if you already have it, and then once you do that, move on to the next tutorial.